Today we're going over the Air Jordan 11 7210, but this is the low top version. Ever since I saw images leak on the internet with this sneaker, I just knew I had to have these, and unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't get my size. But that's okay, because I'm still here to give you guys the review, and I already know I could trade these for my size. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA show. On this channel, I love breaking down different sneakers like this, giving you comparisons from the past, and always talking about the current events as well. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're very close to a million subscribers, and you could be the next one to get us there. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and crack this box open and see what these shoes are talking about. Now, this is an Air Jordan 11, and they give us that old school nostalgic vibe with the OG 11s from back in the day. So I do like that representation when it comes to these, even though they are low top. These have an all black lift off lid, you got your Jordan Air branding right here in white with the red Jumpman in the center. And then on the bottom of the box, it's all gray and the size tag reads Air Jordan 11 Low Retro Black Gym Red White Sale. Ah, size nine, size nine. Usually I say size 13, just for me, but let's just get into the shoe. Lifting open the lid of the box right here, you have an all black paper and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, first impressions of this sneaker. These are exactly what I was expecting and I am not mad at these at all. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people slept on these, but we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. Now, before I start breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials of these, we gotta talk about the OG pair that brought these to life. So as you can see right here, we have your modern day sleeve Air Jordan 11 box. You got your all black on the upper with the little red hitch right here. You got the red plastic with the big X in the eye, giving you that Jordan 11, geez, this thing is stiff, giving you that Jordan 11 all right, hold on one second. There we go. All right. This thing has been sitting in the box for a while. Giving you that Jordan 11 vibe. <laughs> you got the all red plastic right here that lifts off. And then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Now, yes, I do wish the low top version was in the same size as these. That way I can give you guys the full in-depth comparison, but I'll make sure I get some solid detail shots with the two side by side, just so you guys can see the similarities with the materials and the cuts of the sneakers. So some people may be wondering, why am I showing you the high top version if this is the low top review? And the reason why, we gotta talk about the history first, because nobody would like the low tops if they didn't know about the high tops in the first place. So this shoe was slated as the 7210 Air Jordan 11. Some people may or may not know, but Michael Jordan played for the Bulls, and during one of those seasons, they had a 72-10 record, and that set the record for the most wins in an NBA season, which was then broken by the Golden State Warriors later down the line, way later down the line. But again, that's a whole other topic. Either way, they created that based off of that storyline and called these the 72-10-11. And I'm not sure if everybody knew, but there was actually a sample of this sneaker right here that was made probably about 20 or 15 years before that time in the early 2000s that wasn't even slated as the 72 tens it almost looked like a bread and a space jam mixed together and i remember when these originally came out some people were on the fence about them they kind of didn't like the shoe and everybody wasn't just happy go lucky about the 72 tens and then you obviously give it some time removed next thing you know everybody loves the shoe and they want to have them and they're going up in price you know how it typically goes so with all that being said throughout the video i'm going to be breaking down the differences and similarities between these two shoes and honestly i feel like they did a really good job replicating the high top version into the low top version. Starting with the bottom of the shoe, you have your classic Air Jordan 11 outsole, your black pods and your creamy white translucent outsole right there. You got a red and black carbon fiber with the white jump man and white pods just below that. And then you have your classic Air Jordan 11 midsole in all white and then go into the upper. Oh, the upper. I feel like they did a really good job when it comes to this shoe overall, when it comes to just the quality of materials. I feel like that's why I say a lot of people slept on this sneaker because they're gonna realize once they get these in hand, like, damn, these are actually really nice. So when it comes to the patent leather on the sneaker, it has kind of that iridescent marbly kind of vibe to it. And that is very similar to the high top version as well. Then you have a nice tumbled black leather and a black suede, almost kind of like a felt type material when it comes to the eyelets, and then a little bit here on the back end. Now, this is something that a lot of people always make fun of because this is just an itty bitty, tiny Air Jordan Jumpman logo right here, but they had to find somewhere to put the branding and typically on Jordan 11 lows, they always put a little Jordan Jumpman on the back right here. And then you have your Air Jordan 23 just above that. These come standard with a pair of fat black laces that you always see on Air Jordan 11s. You again have some more premium 
premium tumbled leather here in all black with your Air Jordan 11 branding in the center of the tongue and a red Jumpman, just like the first pair that we saw. And then on the sock liner, you got all black with a black insole and a red Jumpman. And this is a hit that's just like the high top version as well. Super dope touch. It says inspired by the most historic season led by the greatest player ever, AKA Michael Jordan. I'll leave the LeBron versus Michael Jordan debates down below in the comment section for you guys on that one. <laughs> So overall, those are going to be some detailed shots and some in-hand looks, giving you guys a better view at this sneaker if you haven't seen these in person yet. They just came out so I can understand why people may not have seen them or if they're interested in grabbing the shoe. But now let's compare them to the high tops real quick and show you guys some more side-by-sides just so we can understand how similar these are to the high tops. Now obviously the boxes are going to be a little bit different. This is more of your modern era Air Jordan 11 box and this is giving you a classic retro OG style. But when it comes to the two shoes, looking at the outsoles, pretty Pretty similar but when you look at the carbon fiber way different the carbon fiber on the high top is a lot more smooth and the carbon fiber on the low top is a lot more textured let me know which style you guys like more down below in the comment section now looking at the midsoles and the patent leathers they honestly look very very similar even the leather in the suede and the hits on the upper as well those all look pretty much identical the Jordan brand branding on the tongues very similar like we talk about the back of the tongues with the 7210 same exact patch and then on the back end of the shoe, on the high top version, the 23 is stitched. And then on the low top version, it's more of a plastic 23 that's kind of heat pressed on there. And then you got your plastic Jumpman in all red. And then this red on the Jumpman on the high top has a little bit more of a metallic sheen to it. But besides that, pretty similar. So when it comes to the highs versus lows, which one do you like more? Honestly, this is a hard one because originally I was thinking like, oh, I might like the highs more, but Typically, when it comes to OG 11s and the OG colorways, I always go with the OG highs, but the low top, the low top just might be the wave when it comes to this particular colorway. I think I'm gonna go with the low tops on this one. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Another question that I love to ask the people in every video is if they think this shoe is fire or trash. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. This is what they said. 66% of the people chose fire and 34% of the people chose trash. I completely understand there's gonna be a lot of reasons why people don't like the shoe. It's not an OG high, it's not an OG colorway. Uh, you know, just a lot of different reasons. A lot of people wanna spend more money on different shoes. I think the retail on these was like $190 too. So $190 for a low top 11, that could potentially push people away from it too. I completely understand that. But that brings me to the next topic the price of this shoe and what's gonna happen in the future because people always wanna know what are these gonna be worth one, two, three, four, five years from now. If you look at the history of the Air Jordan 11 lows over the past years, you always find that same type of trend. Not that many people want them when they first came out. And then give it about a year or two and it's like, ooh, I remember those. And then wait three or four years and the shoe is like four or $500 and you're like, when did this happen? Like, why is this shoe $350, $450? I'm so confused. Like, nobody wanted those not that long ago. I think this is gonna be that prime example of that sneaker, and we're gonna look back a couple years from now to see how much this shoe was going for. But I have, to me personally, I have without a doubt, I feel that these are gonna be at least $275, probably pushing mid 300s by the next couple years and then give it some more time and you never know, they, they might be messing around 350, 400 bucks, but again, we shall see, but I just feel like that's what's gonna happen. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And if you wanna grab this shoe, I think it's gonna be pretty easy to grab for retail or you might even be able to find a used pair for under retail market value right now. Give it a little bit of time over the next couple months and the next thing you know, you got a pair in your collection to rock. But I would say, if you do have them, don't beat them up because these could potentially be some bangers down the line and you're like, damn, I beat them up and I wanna get another pair and I should've just took care of them a little bit better. I would say, still take care of these. You know, wear them obviously, but definitely take care of these because I got a feeling about this shoe for some reason. I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on this. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, 
If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I'll also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Air Jordan 11 low colorway of all time. Don't forget, there's like snake skins, a UNC, a cherry. There's a lot of cool colorways. So take a second, think about it, drop a comment. I'll see you guys in another one. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to a million subscribers. <laughs> yeah.